Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Friday. It is your boy, <laughs> Trey Lucius Alewinius Sinius, aka Trey Sins. Nah, that's not my real name. My real name's Trey, but it's your boy Trey Sins. I'm not gonna hold you long today, so if you don't mind, like, share, sub, let's get the business out of it. I just woke up, um, wanted to get this video out to you on a Friday, happy Friday. If you woke up today, you are a millionaire. So let's go live the dream, baby. But that's not what you came here for. You didn't come here for no motivational speaks. You came here for fragrances. So just wanted to talk to you about two new fragrances from my collection that you can pick up at your local TJ Maxx, Ross. I know TJ Maxx, well, TJ Maxx and Marshalls, not Ross, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They're both pretty good. One of them I think I dig a little bit more than the other one, but they're both pretty good. They're both, are clones but they are in my opinion good clones let's get the first one out of the way and this one is called better rouge and it is a powerful concentration better rouge and of course you can tell by the bottle which i think the bottle looks really really nice it is a clone of 540 of course they didn't put that in a, they didn't put 540 but i mean they hit it with the rouge and those beautiful san francisco 49er colors close anyway now I like this. I, I like this fragrance. I like this fragrance. I think this one came out of the women's department. Um, I'm going to say it's unisex because, again, if it's if it's a clone of 540, which I think it is, then you already know that's a unisex fragrance. Now, the thousands of clones of 540 on the market, personally, I happen to think the best that I have gotten my hands on is from Al. Paramine, and that is Amber Oud Rouge, um, but it is pricey compared to other cheapies. Is it pricey compared to, can I reach it? Not without tearing everything up, but it's right there. You've seen it, go bottle. Um, Rouge, Amber Oud Rouge, is it pricey compared to a $20 cheapie? Yes. Is it pricey compared to what is cloning no i think that one has been discontinued you can get it for 60 you know what we're just gonna get it because he's right there and that's not it we close though there he is now, now let me readjust myself allow me to reintroduce myself so this is Amber Oud Rouge by Al Haramine. Are the, the two fragrances similar? They are because they're both clones. I think this is a clone of the Act, how do you say that? Act Straight. And I think, honestly, smelling them side by side off the nozzle, they're not as close as I thought they were, which is why I grabbed this. This one is definitely deeper. It's definitely richer. And I, again, I think this is the asterisk. This one. Has a more. Fruity vibe. I almost. Well, maybe I do. I smell peach. I I smell I smell peach. I smell peach. That's that's what I That's what I'm getting. I'm getting a nice dose of peach in the opening. When you spray it and it's it's nice. It's pleasant. It's really really pleasant. As it starts to work, it leans more towards that 540 DNA. But in the opening, you get definitely a nice, juicy, fruity, peach, mango type of vibe. And I like it. So, comparing it to this, which is the better fragrance, 
I think this one is a little bit better of a fragrance. I wore this to work the other day, so you'll get a, another type of review on this when I do my weekly fragrance review. As far as better, I don't know. I mean, I don't know, that's hard to say. I like this one better, but I have more experience with this one. I have more wares with this one. I've had more reactions with this one. So naturally I'm gonna say this one is better. But this one is also harder to find. You're not gonna walk into your TJ Maxx or Marshalls and find this one like you will this one. That to me makes a big difference because if you're sitting there and you're going, hey, a peachier version of 540, that sounds pretty good to me. I may want to try that. You can run out to your local Marshalls or TJ Maxx right now and see if they have it. This one is $20. So you're going to pay a little bit of tax and you're out of the door. This one, if you can find it, I've seen it starting at about 60 bucks and it goes 60 and up if you can find it. And then you're going to have to pay shipping taxes and you're going to have to wait for it. So if it's price versus performance, I may give the edge to this one. But again, I've only worn this one one time price versus performance on this one anything Al Haramine has and I can get my hands on it it's it's an instant buy if it's in my price range if it's in my wheelhouse because I know it's going to be a really good fragrance I know it's going to be a really solid fragrance because they just make good stuff man they just make good stuff and you see the bottle this wasn't designed to be an Al Haramine video but let me just spray a little bit of this on. But I wanted to, you know, give you a very accurate video. This is much, 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 much fruitier. That peach in the opening of this sets it apart now did this perform like al haramin it didn't it didn't but again it's 20 dollars. it is a parfum concentration did it perform good it did it got me through my five hour shift and you know i could still smell it when i got off so you're gonna get at least five hours of longevity and projection for a 20 dollars fragrance and i don't think that's bad but this one think the dry down of a 540, a Bach 540 style fragrance mixed with a fruitier, peachier, juicier opening. So maybe this is your 540 for a spring day in the park. Maybe this is your 540 for a date out. Uh, a date out, uh, a night out or a play date or you know whatever, you're taking it down to the sizzler, you know. That gives you a few options. Again, this one you'll have to order offline. You're not going to be able to find it in your rag stores. Now, perfume specialty shops, you'll probably be able to pick it up there. But if you do, I guarantee you it's going to be a hundred plus dollars. Is it worth it? Yes. Anything Al Haramine, it is. It's going to be good quality juice. I like that company. You know, I just do. But this one you can go to your local. Marshalls and TJ Maxx to pick up for $20 and bring it home. It's unisex. I do think it leans maybe slightly more feminine because of that juicy peach opening. I wore it. I'm a main baby and I ain't gonna apologize for it. I wore it. I liked it. Um, it is what it is. I mean, you can wear what you want. You have to, you know, live, live like have to live like you feel. You can tell I just woke up my words and still. It is what it is. Um, I like the fragrance. I think it's good. And I will wear it again. Um, Christmas is coming up soon. I think it will make a good gift for yourself. A good gift for your wife. Teenage daughter. Teenage son. It, it smells good. It it, it smells good, but it's not as rich as this one. At the end of the day, that's what the difference is going to be. This one is fruitier uh, and less dense, where this one is not as fruity, a little bit smoother, and definitely, definitely thicker and more dense. They both smell good, a little bit different directions, different twist on 540. Layering them together may...
cause an explosion and be something wonderful. But I definitely think they're both good. But the purpose of this video was to tell you about Better Rouge, which is one that you can pick up at your local TJ Maxx, your local Marshalls. Marshalls. I don't know who this is made by, but I'm going to guess this is either going to be uh, a product from Camera or a product from Milestone because that's who has been rocking the fragrance world. The rack store fragrance world. We're putting those fragrances out that you just see sitting on the shelf and they are all pretty good quality. So this is one that I definitely think you should pick up um, for yourself, for your lady friend, for stock and stuff, a gift, whatever, 20 bucks. I think you got yourself a pretty decent fragrance here. And it's a good looking bottle. And I think it will look good in anybody's cologne collection. Now, moving along to one that has been making the rounds. Uh, it is from Contra, which I think Contra is made by Camera. And I brought you Camera a long time ago when I brought you Camera. What is that? Uh, 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 El Dorado Kingdom, which is a clone of, is it a clone of? Maybe something from By Killian. It's either, it, it's a clone of a really high end fragrance and that stuff performs for years. It is a stout fragrance. Two or three sprays will do you great pressurized itemizer. Yeah. Well, camera strikes again, the flash goes off, the picture has been taken taken and it is a beautiful one from the house of contra by way of camera it is exclusive laden royal edition and this is a parfum concentration and i paid 14.99 for this last night at marshall's now i have perfumes to marley i have laden and i don't know if this is supposed to be cloning the exclusive or just the regular i don't know because they put exclusive in the name i don't know but what i do know is decent little cap nothing to write home about little tingly thing on the bottle whatever decent bottle i like the country style bottle it's it's cool it's cool the little faux leather it's it's cool it's all right cap snaps in the place as you heard the juice the juice is fire the, the juice is fire if you can pick this up like i did for $14.99 it's definitely a win. twenty dollars is still a win it's still a win it's still a win does it smell like layton it does it it really does especially as it starts starts to dry down the sweetness stays with the fragrance it smells really really good you get that what is it, vanilla, a little bit of apple, a little bit of spice in there. It's it's good, guys. It's good. I mean, I just that's the only thing I know to tell you. It's good. If you see this out, it is good. My boy Clayton Wright out in Texas. Sir, if you see this, you know, we talk about budget-friendly fragrances all the time that last you a long time. I think this is one that you're going to like. This is right up your alley, sir. It's just a good fragrance. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you about it. I don't know what else to tell you about it. You don't have to spend a lot of money to smell like a lot of money. And people do not know the difference in the air coming off of your skin because, you know, you don't get a banner that flies behind you that's saying, hi. You see that guy? Yes, the one that smells good. He's wearing a high-end niche fragrance. Nobody knows. And honestly, outside of Fragcom, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Yes, you have some people that like to drop names and say, is that, you know, but the average person does not care. All they know is you smell good or you don't. And trust me, I have a reputation for smelling good. I do. I know you might find that hard to believe. And 90% of the time, that reputation has been built on fragrances that were not expensive. Just being 100% honest. So it... it if you want to say niche designer, most of that reputation was built on fragrances that's not even wouldn't even be considered designer. Because it again, people don't know. You know, people don't know. It is what it is. But this bad boy here is nice. I'm gonna show you the atomizer. It it's nice. It's nice. 
I'm going to delve into the world of Contra a little bit. Just notice something. I wonder if they're trying to pay homage to me on this because they kind of got my name on the bottom. Of it. Got Trey right there. Just, maybe they, maybe they thought about me. With nice pressurized atomizer. It's a rainy day here in Alabama, and I may just wear this if I go out today because it's a hoodie day, and this is definitely a hoodie fragrance. It is strong. When you first spray this, it tickle, it tickle the nose. It, it's strong. It's, it's strong is the word we say in the South. That, you know, is a word we reserve for certain people. It's just strong, meaning they six years old and can lift up a motor. That's strong. That's better than strong. So that's what this is. This is that's strong and this is strong. But it does dry down very, very pleasant. Very, very pleasant. And for a $14 fragrance, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. For $14 fragrance, I am. And it. this is part of the thing that frustrates me with Fragcom and the fragrance world. We will pay astronomical prices for fragrances that don't perform well. And then we make excuses about them and say, well, it's about the ambiance. It's about this. It's, no, it's not. It's about smelling good and performing. It's not. It's not. But we'll pay an arm and a leg for a fragrance that doesn't perform well and it's a basic fragrance because it has a certain name on the bottle and we will walk past fragrances like this because of the name on the bottle and the price. $15 fragrances today are better than they have ever been. Is And I've been doing, I'm 47, 48 in December. I've been doing this for at least since I was 12 or 13 years old, and, which I didn't know nothing about fragrances. I just wore them, but still. Good fragrance. If you get an opportunity to pick this up, I suggest you do it. It is a good clone of Parfum's Tamale. So, that being said, I am going to get off of this. Um, it's, it's early. Happy Friday. I'm going to get off this video, edit it, thumbnail it so you can uh, peep it, watch it, you know, whatever. As per usual, Anything you want, a 5 mil decant of any of this that I showed you in this video, email will be in the description. You can hit me up and I will gladly mail you out a 5 mil decant for a small, small, small fee. It won't be much at all. So, yeah. With that being said, once again, if you woke up to see this video, man, you are a millionaire. Go live your best life. Live the dream today. Thank you for returning to the scene of the crime and it's always been the best part of this channel i've got another video that i'm working on but i wanted to get you this one first video that i'm fixing to work on is i think i think i'm gonna call it let's go have a drink that's what i think i'm gonna call it it's fragrances that i would wear if i were going just to a you know cocktail bar or cigar bar i think that's what i think that's what i'm gonna do but that being said you know i love you all and may god bless you all happy friday until next time, guys. Peace.